The buzz surrounding DJI's next FPV drone has reached a new level, with discussions across drone forums, leaked channels, and social media groups pointing toward two possible directions, an Avota 3, or what many are now calling the Avota 360. This growing uncertainty has made the topic more intriguing than any previous Avota release. In this in-depth breakdown, we'll explore the rumored features, expected design changes, possible release window, pricing speculation, and whether it's smart to hold off on buying a drone until the official announcement. Everything mentioned here is based on early leaks from insiders, reports from community testers, and conversations within FPV groups. None of this has been confirmed by DJI, which means the final product could differ in major or minor ways once it is officially unveiled. The Avota series has built its identity on making FPV flight accessible to both skilled pilots and complete beginners. When DJI introduced the first Avota, it changed the landscape by offering a Sinwoop-style FPV drone that was not only durable, but also easy to control, even for someone with no FPV experience. The Avota 2 took this concept further with improvements to image quality, flight stability, durability, and controller functionality. But as FPV expectations continue evolving, pilots now want more speed, better low-light performance, longer battery life, and AI-powered features that make each flight more flexible and intuitive. These desires have fueled speculation about what the Avota 3, or the supposed Avota 360, might bring to the table. One of the most talked about upgrades is the camera. Various sources suggest that DJI may move toward a 1-inch sensor, which would dramatically improve dynamic range, low light clarity, HDR video performance, and overall image quality. This would be a significant jump from previous models and could help DJI compete more directly with action cameras like the GoPro Hero and Insta360 lineup. A larger sensor typically means better color accuracy, cleaner footage in shadows, richer highlights, and more cinematic video. If DJI does go forward with this, the Avota 3 would transform from a fun FPV drone into a serious cinematic tool. It's even possible that DJI may include advanced video formats and higher frame rates for professionals who want maximum flexibility in post-production. Performance upgrades are also part of the rumor cycle. Several insiders suggest that the drone might reach speeds close to 140 km per hour, making it one of DJI's fastest FPV-ready drones yet. Increased top speed would pair well with redesigned propellers intended to improve both responsiveness and stability. A more aerodynamic setup could give pilots more control during sudden directional changes, tight maneuvers, or high-speed chases, which would be especially valuable for professional FPV videographers. Some reports also hint at reduced vibrations, less prop noise, and improvements to maintaining stability at top speeds. Battery life is another area with major expectations. Leaks indicate that the battery capacity could exceed 3,000 ma, delivering an estimated 25 to 30 minutes of flight time, a significant improvement over current FPV drones, which typically struggle to hit long flight durations due to their design. DJI seems to be working on a more efficient power system and a smarter, faster battery swapping mechanism. If true, this would be a huge advantage for anyone filming longer scenes or capturing multiple takes without constant interruptions. Longer flights also appeal to new pilots who benefit from extended practice without needing to recharge every few minutes. Beyond raw performance, DJI may also introduce an upgraded transmission system. Rumors suggest that the next Avota may use a refined version of DJI's latest 04 or an entirely new transmission protocol. This could mean lower latency, stronger signal stability, and longer transmission distance, especially in environments with many obstacles or wireless interference. Compatibility with new goggles is almost guaranteed, and some speculate that DJI might release a refreshed headset alongside the drone, possibly with improved resolution, wider field of view, or enhanced tracking capabilities. Design-wise, early leaks show a drone that continues the Avota tradition of being lightweight while providing built-in propeller protection. Many expect another Sinwip-style frame, though possibly more compact and aerodynamic. Durability remains a priority for FPV drones, so DJI may include reinforced ducts, a better shock absorption structure, or a revised motor layout for improved cooling and longevity. However, if DJI decides to release the Avota 360, the design would likely differ. A 360-degree FPV drone would require additional sensors and possibly unique mounting positions for cameras, and that could dramatically alter the look and function of the product. Safety and smart flight features are another major point of interest. 
Some leaks claim that DJI may equip the drone with full 360-degree obstacle sensing, which would be revolutionary for FPV flying. Such a system could reduce crashes, offer automated avoidance, and help new pilots fly confidently in tight environments. Enhanced return to home RTH behavior, smarter subject tracking, and improved motion-based controls have also been mentioned. These upgrades may align with DJI's broader push toward safer drones that comply with international regulations, especially as more regions impose stricter flying rules. New privacy or data handling features may also be implemented depending on regulatory requirements in markets such as the US and EU. Pricing expectations have been fairly consistent across leaks. Most sources believe DJI will keep the next Avota close to the Avota 2 launch range, meaning a standard package priced around $800 to $1,000. Full combos or fly more kits could fall between $1,200 and $1,500, depending on the included accessories. This pricing could increase if DJI bundles new goggles or controllers as part of the main package, or if the drone features major upgrades like a 1-inch sensor or 360 degrees camera system. One of the most confusing parts of the current rumor cycle is the release timeline. Early speculation pointed to a mid-2025 reveal, but that window passed without any announcements. More recent discussions from reliable leak sources suggest a time frame between late 2025 and early 2026, which aligns more closely with DJI's typical release cycle for FPV products. The confusion intensified when leaked prototypes surfaced, some resembling a traditional Avota design, while others looked like a new 360-style FPV drone. This sparked widespread debate. Is DJI preparing two separate models? Will one replace the Avota line entirely? Or is the rumored 360 version actually the Avota 3 under a new design philosophy? For now, the best approach is to wait for DJI's official announcement. Given the pace of leaks and the rising excitement within the FPV community, it's clear that DJI is preparing something significant. Whether we're about to see a dual-camera FPV platform, an upgraded Sinwoop powerhouse, or a completely new 360 capture system, the next few months will likely bring more clarity. Until then, the Avota 3, if it truly exists, and the mysterious Avota 360 remain two of the most anticipated drones in development. So, while confusion continues, this is everything we currently know about DJI's upcoming FPV drone. The big question now is simple. Will the Avota 3 be the 360 version? Or will DJI launch each one separately with its own identity and purpose? Whatever the answer, the excitement around this release ensures that the FPV world will be watching closely.